Hello and welcome to watch me and to another unboxing video. Today I have with me the Aster and Banks Fortitude Light. It represents a good value as a you know go anywhere do anything watch. Let's take a look at the Fortitude Light. Inside we have a pouch, again with the logo on there and uh, there's a very nicely made sort of leather um, travel case, uh, again with the logo, uh, they've made sure they put their logo on uh, every surface here, looks well made so let's take a look. Here we go inside is lined really nicely um, have the warranty card here and uh, nice of them to include a, you know a, a tool as well for you to size the bracelet nicely finished here you can actually use this to uh, travel it um, seems like a practical uh, way to ship a watch watch is held inside the sleeve and here you go so this is the fortitude light in the peach colorway um, i guess it's easiest way to reference it is the peach but um, it does have a slightly unique quality to it uh, it's uh, not um, no, no, not a very dense peach it's a very uh, mild peach and i really fell for this color when i uh, saw it in person now Astra and Banks is a micro brand um, that has been around for a few years now and uh, they have become quite popular amongst the watch enthusiasts and the forums because um, they had a popular diver that they launched initially and then the Fortitude line did quite well and uh, they have this knack of uh, putting together very sort of uh, correctly proportioned watches with uh, you know almost a uh, pastel color uh, light colored dials and you you can sort of argue that they were a little ahead of their time because now uh, these uh, sort of um, mild uh, pastel color or uh, um, you know the colored dials have become all the rage in 2022 the fortitude series as such is uh, very similarly proportioned and it's been around uh, longer and the fortitude light essentially is a uh, slimmed down kind of a lighter no date version of the fortitude watch so uh, it wears a little slimmer uh, the case profile is a little slimmer and um, there is no date window here easy to wear uh, everyday type of watch um, you know and uh, I, I really dig um, the the layout and the overall proportions and uh, you know uh, look of this watch so let's uh, get down to the specs. Um, this is, I think, a 38 and a half um, millimeter uh, case, and it's just under 46 millimeters uh, lug to lug, uh, 20 millimeter lug width, and it's right around 11 millimeters uh, thick. Very compact proportions. I like the way the lugs are compact and they're not too thick. They're very slender and slim, and they taper down beautifully. The bracelet itself um, let me get it unwrapped here so we can take a closer look like a single link it's not a multi-link style bracelet but uh, the finish is uh, really quite nice it feels great on the skin uh, the brushing looks very even and consistent and so you can see the flow is really good it, it flows really well um, and it's it's a slim bracelet uh, which is again um, good uh, for a sort of casual wear, easy to wear watch and I, I really think this is going to be one of the uh, most comfortable bracelets to wear and it, it feels superb on the wrist, um, especially on the bracelet and it's nice to see a flowing kind of, um, you know, smooth, good feeling bracelet uh, coming from a brand at this price point. And uh, I can I can uh, see the appeal of this color with some of the straps as well. But to me, um, I think the bracelet is the strong point um, of this uh, specific model, and I kind of picked it up uh, uh, for that reason. 
you can see the clasp here is um, fairly nicely made as well uh, this out it is a button release it's not a pull release and lots of micro adjustments here and um, this bracelet itself if you notice has um, fairly small links um, these are actually screw links as well uh, again a good uh, thing to see when you um, you know when you hold a bracelet that's well made it's nice to see uh, uh, screwed in links and you have one two three four five uh, six micro adjustment holes which is substantial which is almost like you know three links in itself so fully customizable you can just about fit um, any uh, small variation um, here the only thing you know in in, uh, in the current uh, market everybody is uh, getting into the easy on the fly adjustable micro adjustment and it would have been nice for them to include that at this price as well um, but it's okay it's it's not that big a deal it's easy enough to do it and they have provided the tool for it so it's nice to see so let's take a closer look at the case and the dial and the finish so over here we have the peach dial uh, variant of uh, the fortitude light it does come in a few other colors it comes in uh, uh, I think like a mint and like a light blue and uh, almost like a beige and it's very interesting all, all very interesting colors um, if, um, if you can uh, find a way to um, you know see them at an event of some sort um, it, it's really nice to see all the uh, all the colors in person um, so the dial is um, very uh, sort of purposeful looking dial and uh, the Applied markers are um, sort of like a gunmetal finish. Um, it's not quite black. Um, it's sort of like this grayish, um, uh, you know, look, and that contrasts really nicely with the the peach dial. I'm glad that they didn't go with the stainless steel, um, you know, surrounds on those. I don't think it would have looked quite as appealing as this. So, good call on the colorway there, and. The shape of the the markers are quite nice as well. They're curved on the on the bottom, or rather the the side uh, towards the inside, and they're flat on the outside. Uh, gives a gives a unique vibe. Um, it looks quite nice. Uh, the hands are um, you know nice and sharp and quite crisply finished. Even if you uh, go on a close up uh, macro shot, uh, the execution is good. You can see the loom applied is fairly even and f well done. Um, it is nice to see a fairly unique second hand. Um, I would have expected a, a simple black plain uh, seconds hand, but uh, this is one of uh, an, a nicer implementation on a seconds hand. Let's take a look at the case. Um, nice finish overall. Um, at this price point, I think they are doing a really good job with um, case finishing. It's um, the subtlety is not in how uh, defined the edges are. It's it's just more to do with uh, contrasting sides, um, line polished line on the side, polished uh, you know side of the bezel, and again I'm glad to see brushed uh, sides for the the watch here, and the crown is um, yeah, has a logo embossed in it, and uh, it's actually a, a nice feeling crown. It is screwed down and it is uh, 200 meter water resistant and a winding mechanism is nice and press it in. Not as precise as you know like the Zelos for example that I just recently reviewed uh, for the screw down mechanism but it's okay it's serviceable it's pretty good. Brushed on the top of the bezel uh, fairly well done and uh, it's overall very very Cool looking watch very good looking watch almost uh, has an identity of its own um, I feel and that's really uh, nice to see and uh, and a good thing at, at this price point it's not uh, something most micro brands can achieve is uh, get an instantly the sort of recognizable look um, the crystal is a sapphire crystal with um, AR coating on the inside and uh, don't think it has any AR on the outside it's not super reflective 
um, compared to some of the other micro brands but at the same time it's not one of those crystals that's going to blow you away with uh, you know vanishing act so it's a decent crystal at this price point um, don't have anything against it i think it does the job case back is fairly simple just has the name and some specifications listed on there overall um, the weight balance and the way the watch feels is excellent um, it's uh, very nice to see a good balanced well proportioned well made watch at the 600 dollar price point uh, the movement is the no date variation of the 9015 the 9039 same movement as in the other watch um, um, i reviewed the seals uh, sea storm diver uh, it's a good reliable movement it works well winds well um runs perfectly fine uh keeps within a few seconds a day um so nothing wrong there it's a perfectly functioning movement and good value at that price point and uh yeah um that's uh, my quick uh, take on the aster and banks fortitude light um if you have any specific questions or um have any other of the other colors that <laughs> you find more interesting do leave a comment and uh um check these guys out they're pretty good um thanks again and uh, like and subscribe if you um, want to see more content thank you bye bye